A developing story this midday, a man killed two innocent health care workers inside of a Dallas hospital, and now we're learning that more lives could have been taken. The suspect, Nestor Hernandez, was in the labor and the delivery unit visiting his girlfriend and newborn. The two hospital workers walked in and were shot by Hernandez. Investigators say he reloaded his weapon and started to walk outside of that hospital room when an officer shot him. His actions left two families and an entire medical community mourning. And they're just trying to, they were just trying to do their jobs at that moment. Our Suzanne Bruner is at Methodist Hospital with their stories. Fellow hospital workers here at Methodist Dallas Hospital are remembering two brave women who lost their lives in the shooting over the weekend. Police have identified the victims as 63-year-old Annette Flowers on the left and 45-year-old Jacqueline Puqua. Annette was a nurse, mother, and grandmother who loved her daughters and grandkids. She recently renovated her home and was looking forward to retirement. A nurse at the hospital told us Annette was a great caring nurse who loved her job. And this is Jacqueline a social worker who came from Ghana 20 years ago. Friends called her the calm in chaos. Jacqueline was also a mother to a beautiful young boy. Her smile, her personality, how friendly or how help, 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 helpful that um, she was. So I think that's, if, if I should use the word one, one, one word to describe her, I would say maybe her smile. Because when I look at the picture, she has a very beautiful smile. Messages of support are pouring in from across the country. The Texas Nurses Association says our hearts are broken. These are our colleagues and friends. The entire TNA family grieves this loss, and we extend our condolences to the families and coworkers of the victims. The CEO of the TNA is also saying no person should ever fear for their life going to work. And the National Nurses United organization is calling on U.S. lawmakers to now pass a workplace violence prevention legislation. We're in Dallas. I'm Suzanne Bruner, and I'll send it back to you.